guys, hello YouTube and welcome to another video. In this week's video I'm going to be talking about how to stay organised. Now I myself feel that I'm a very organised person and I like getting things done within a time frame and everything like that. I can't handle people who are disorganised, I get very stressed. I'm going to tell you six ways in which you can stay organised. Number one, to-do lists. To-do lists are your friend. You think it might be a way of actually giving you more stuff to do but actually it's stuff probably that you've been putting off for a while. So basically if I go anywhere that requires me to bring something with me, I will write a list of what I need like weeks in advance usually just so I've got it so when it gets to the day of like let's say packing it's there, it's ready. Number two, have a planner with you. A planner is basically something which is like a to-do list, however, it's for more like events and stuff that you may have coming up. If you're like me and you don't have a planner, I just write them in my phone, the day of when it is, what it is, how I'm gonna get there, everything like that. That's how I basically plan my life, because otherwise I will most likely forget it. Number three, time management or timekeeping. What this means is managing your time efficiently so you actually get the tasks that you want to get done and have time to do other things. For example, when I get ready in the morning, I get up at five o'clock in the morning to be at work by seven, because it gives me around an hour and a half to not only just wake up, but have a shower, have breakfast, do my makeup, and basically just wake up naturally rather than getting up half an hour before work, giving myself like 10 minutes to get ready, and then rushing into work and just not being awake already. It's better to manage your time where your place is early than you're late. If you're late, then you're not being productive and you're basically just not helping yourself. If you're early, you give yourself more time to get ready, more time to get yourself mentally into the position of whatever you've got to do, and it's just a good thing. Number four, deadlines. The most important thing for these is to plan ahead. If you don't plan ahead, you're not gonna hit the deadline because of the fact that I always, as again, would manage my time well therefore I wouldn't worry about deadlines basically if you get work and there's a deadline for it this sounds dumb but if you do it sooner you don't have to worry about it later or if you want to manage it out so you do a certain amount of work per day that's fine but for me I like doing everything in advance because then I don't have to worry about it number five procrastination this is one thing that does affect people who want to be organized because if you procrastinate and you just decide you know what I'll leave my work and I'll do it tomorrow and then the next day you say exactly the same thing and then the next day you do exactly the same thing. Do you get my point? Procrastination is obviously something everyone struggles with. For me, the reason why I don't procrastinate as much as probably some other people is because I panic. If there's a deadline or if something's not done, whether it's in or out of my control, I will just panic because I know it's not done and I know someone is gonna be let down by my actions or someone else's actions which I'm responsible for. The basic term is, if the longer you leave it, the more stressed you're gonna get and probably you're gonna rush your work and it's not gonna be good and you're probably gonna have to redo it. So it's easier if you just do things in advance, plan it out, get it done, and then if it's not good enough afterwards, then you can at least say, well, I've done it in advance, I've got more time to refix it. Whereas if you do it at the last minute, you're not gonna have time to fix your mistakes. Number six, write everything down. You'll be surprised how many people don't write things down and then they're just like, oh, but I forgot to do this thing, that and the other. And it's like, well, you write it down, you won't forget about it. That's why I write everything down, because my memory is so bad. But if you write everything down, then you're not gonna forget anything and you're just gonna get everything done in advance and everything's gonna be fan fantastic. So I hope you like that video. You. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and you can leave in the comments any other videos you'd like me to make and I shall see you later YouTube. Bye!